Biotin should be taken 30 minutes before your last meal of the day, consistently every single day, and not an hour before or after consuming caffeine. Now I'm going to give you guys the explanation behind all of those reasons and some additional info on biotin right after this introduction. First off, thank you for checking out this video, and if you are new here and you enjoy learning about beards with an overall positive vibe, I do encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel with the subscribe button down below or there's a link in the description. It does make a big difference for a channel like this. So biotin, what is it? Well, it's a B7 vitamin that is important for human health. It also plays a big role in your hair and nail production. Now, it is encouraged that a normal person consumes 30 MCGs of biotin a day. Now, most people are gonna achieve this through their diet, no problem. But to reach that optimal keratin production, which makes up your hairs and nails, it's encouraged that you guys take 10,000 MCGs a day, and that is darn near impossible to achieve through diet alone. So the only way you're gonna do that is with a biotin supplement. Now, what is that actually going to do? Biotin for most people is going to speed up your rate of growth. It's not going to make it thicker. It's not going to make it stronger. It's going to grow faster for almost everyone. And that goes for your beard hair, your back hair, your nails, everything that involves keratin. And for me, it made a really big difference. I went from average or slightly above average rate of growth to freakish growth. I grow over an inch a month with my hair. And that is a lot when the average person is at about a half an inch a month. Now, I told you some things in that introduction that I suggested for you with biotin. And I'm going to break those down. The first one is consuming it 30 minutes before your last meal. So first off, why 30 minutes before the meal? Well, biotin is a water-soluble vitamin. That means you do not need to have food in your stomach to be able to let this work and have its best effects. It actually works better on an empty stomach as opposed to vitamins that are fat soluble that need some fat to be able to work here. So you wanna take that 30 minutes, you can even go an hour before that meal. And why your last meal? Well, biotin is going to best absorb and process into your body at night when you're calming down and especially while you sleep. You do want some food after you have it, so you can't just do it right before bed, but you do wanna get it as close to bed with that food as possible. And then caffeine, what are you talking about? Well, when you take vitamins, there are certain vitamins that like to balance each other out or cancel each other out. For example, you do not want to take calcium and iron at the same time. Your body cannot take them in. They are going to be battling. Well, two things that also battle is biotin and caffeine. Guess what's going to win that battle? Caffeine. So if you are drinking coffee or you are drinking pop, most of the time, your biotin is not going to have any effect if it's within an hour of you taking it. I know a lot of people that are taking biotin with their morning coffee, you're not getting the best results right now. So try to do it at a time where you are not consuming that caffeine and that can make a really big difference. And then also a huge point is to stay consistent. You don't wanna bounce around and do morning one day, night, lunch, try to keep it the same consistent cycle and that will make a big difference for you guys. So, and then I go into a lot more detail on the benefits of biotin and the reasons behind it for your beard and all of that in a different video. I'll put a little pop-up right here. If you guys wanna check that out, you can come back to it. I'll leave a link in the description as well for that video and it breaks it down really well. Medical conditions and considerations. Just like anything else, if you guys have a heart, kidney, liver, or really any major medical condition, make sure you check with your doctor beforehand with taking these. Um, it has been said that it can impact your lab results if you're getting blood work done. So just something to check with a professional and ask their thoughts on this. But for most people, there are no side effects or downfalls to taking biotin. If you are consuming too much, you are just going to urinate that extra out and it's not going to cause any harm at all. But of course, when in doubt, go see your doctor, go see a dietitian and see what they have to say about that. So for me, what do I take? 
I've actually tried, I think, seven different brands of biotin now, and I've been able to measure my beard growth along that time. Uh, I, I do this on months when I'm not trimming, so I can really see that difference. And I've found two that have worked really well for me. I've had some that were okay, and I had some that were garbage. I break that down in that other video. The garbage ones were like the buy one, get one free from your drugstore. Uh, the okay ones were ones that I found at like health and nutrition store. And the two best ones that I have tried actually come from beard companies. Uh, the one that I've been trying most recently and is a pretty darn good deal is the biotin from Chesapeake and it does an amazing job. I'm right at just over that inch a month of growth. And the other one is the hat I have on right now, and that is Beard Octane. That was the first one that really made a difference. I started out with those drug company or drugstore company ones and was like, man, I don't know what all this hype is about. I tried Beard Octane, I was like, oh, I get it. My nails are growing like crazy. My back hair is like a wild jungle. That makes sense. Tried another company that I really love. I just didn't see as much results as I did with, with uh, Beard Octane. And then I came to Chesapeake and I saw those Beard Octane results once again. So I absolutely love that. So I hope I covered everything guys for when to take it, give you a little bit of information on there and some things to think about. Please leave me with any questions you have on biotin down below or really any questions at all. Again, I can probably answer it or come up with a video idea for the future. So thank you guys for checking the video out today. If you did enjoy it, if you could hit a thumbs up so show that you like the video, that does help out as well. So thank you for all the support. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope that you stay bearded and stay positive and I look forward to your comments and questions below.